Hi there, welcome back to Gadget Mad Lad. This is the PlayStation Classic adding a third USB port internally. Kind of. Uh, it's just uh, a bit of a mess about the moment. I'm going to tidy it all up, but the premise of it is the same. So check this out. Nothing major, I'm guessing you've probably seen it already. So I've got a, it's only a USB 2.0, but it'll do the same trick. So a bit mark there. Ground. Positive. Green and white, because I know green goes next to black and white and it goes next to red. I've um on the board at the back, right, so this is the front of the PlayStation Classic as it is now. So you have your buttons there, your dish tray, uh, your HDMI at the back, your power at the back. The, so this is the back bit of the board underneath the housing, this stuff. So this goes like so. If you get me? Anyway, the part is, there's a little void. I don't know if you've seen any of the teardowns of it before, but a little boy there not doing anything. So I figured for now, my plan is just to. They're all. Uh, I'll show you there. If you remember correctly, I told you about the, the four pads in the last video. Well, I've soldered some wires. Well, I've tinned them so. Oh, get in the. Get in the. There we go. Not the best job in the world, but nothing's shorting. It's all good. Nice strong joints. Got the flux in there, so it's all good. Uh, I've got the other sides tinned and ready to go. So all I need to do now is just connect them to this and then reassemble and then I'll have an internal USB port. Well, spare USB port if you get me. For me to hide away my little USB stick that'll have all my games on it. And then there'll be no like... Because to set it up, what I need to do, I need to use the Player 2 port to connect to USB. Do various bits and bobs with the software that'll hack it. And then once I've done that, I can then connect to an OTG cable, powered OTG cable via the micro USB at the back. That in turn will give me extra USB ports to be able to connect, you know, like a, I don't know, 120 or 32 gigabyte or a 4 gigabyte, anything essentially that's got a game on it to the USB port and then it'll play it from that, you with me? So the plan is, so I'd have to do that, that's what this is for. So, one USB port, I'm about to get connected. So, let's make it easy. Oh, I'm gonna reassemble it in this video as well. So, but now essentially there's four pins going across there. Can you see them? Starting from the f f the f this one here, working to this one here. We've got red, then it'll be white, then it'll be green, then it'll be black. And the orientation is like so. Same as on the actual board itself. You know the USBs are. So, because obviously why you be wiring it backwards and that won't work. <laughs> So, oh crap, now I pulled my stuff off the side there because the Y keeps catching on everything. Ready, oh, so, can you see this properly? I'll zoom in, I'll zoom in. Give me one second. Uh, so, that's my little margin window here then, yeah? Right, so. Let's get the red wire in first. Can you see that? Yep, it's me lining it up. Using my viewfinder, getting screwdrivers in the way. Lovely job, I think that's a sturdy. Lovely and strong. Alright, so next to that goes white. So lining that up. That's a great pain in the butt. I'm showing you that right? I hope so. Try to keep it in shot a bit more. You'll be messing out with the zoom and stuff on the camera, so hopefully it's not put anybody off. <laughs> that's nope, that's not sturdy in the slightest. God damn it. Um, what can I use? <coughs> Let's get some flux in. And this. Not making any flux, so I should do the trick. Yep, that little that's steady for me. So if I push that up a little bit, dead centre, lower jubbly. Right, so now, I should hopefully just be able to come in here and tap that to that. Never the case, as you know.
Make sure it's set. Seems to be all good. Next we'll go green. I can maneuver it around. Oh god damn it. I'm trying to get better with my camera shots so I can show you what I'm actually doing. <laughs> Other than the like elbows and asses and elbows. So again this is the third leg. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is the data plus. But I don't want to that totally bit of data minus. But one's data minus, one's data plus. Positive and black. As long as you know the colour coordination that they go in, you should be all good. All good. I almost went cotton there. You'll be all good, old Argeezer. You'll be all good. Alright, so this is the most bendy one, so it shouldn't be too hard. So just, again, it's tacking into place. And the solder hot enough to melt. Come over for a second, making sure the solder bonds holding it in place. And it's set, jobs are good and that is what we call a finished damn thing. If we don't speak English that is. <laughs> right, so I should be able to release that now. Like my homemade helping hands. MacGyver, as you call that stuff. <laughs> right, so that's a really strong connection as well. So I chose this USB, it's got kind of you know divots in the it's like this flat, you know, um, pins for it to stick to. They kinda like um Veered, is that the right word? It's almost like cylindrical, so it really keeps all the solder nice and sturdy in there. So, got a strong connection there. The board there, I'll be probably glue gunning that or something, you know, to stop it from coming loose because obviously I don't want any mishaps or anything, shall we say? All right, so let's get it back to put it together. I've pretty much done the video now. You don't, I'm not going to test it in this or anything, I've got to wait to get all the sapphire and stuff to do that. So, and is it upside down here, isn't it? That's not the worst thing, no. So slide these back into place. Let's go on like that, did it? No. Yeah, no. But Why don't you just slide in there? Oh, is it just pressure first? Is that what it is? Is it over the USBs to go? So I'm sorry, I'm just trying to suss this out. I'll just put it back together because I'm going to on before. Ah ha ha ha, I see it, I see it. There we go. It's like a lip on the USB itself, and that kind of groove there. The lip goes into the groove. Smoothly does it. Right, so now I think I need to put the metal housing back on. Make sure that's not up too mucky or anything. Uh, that's that orientation. Hmm. So we do that like that, so that should be okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, I will need to do something so it doesn't shot to ground. I, I think it is ground anyway, isn't it, the housing. But what I will do, just to be on the safe side, for now, because obviously cause I'm, I, I'm not using this until after I've set it up, so just need it to do what it needs to do for now, you get me? So it comes to using it, which part I'll tidy up then. Might do a video about it, comment below if you want to see it. Me, the finished project, one and some all done. Got another video coming up um, in the next one, hopefully. That'll be um, me changing the cable on the pad. You know, because it's 1.5 metres. About a three meter cable, so I'm gonna quickly undo the pad, put it back together again with the new cable in. I'll show you what I mean when I do it because it's quite. I don't know if you've, if you've seen the inside of a PlayStation 1 Classic pad before, but if you've not, then I can definitely say it's worth coming back to see the other video. So, this is that uh, radio. Right, so this. Got to press it down, I think. I think it's like a pressure thing. Is that right? Make sure you're on that. Uh, 
Come on, you. Is that right? Is it? It's not going. Why is it not going in? Been a bit of a tricky one, this. Oh, right, god damn it. I wonder, could I do it the right way around? Surely can't be that easy. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep it in shot, but it's really awkward to do, but really shaky hands as well tonight for some reason. Get in there, you. Again, something's stopping you. Am I doing this wrong? I think I'm doing this wrong. Uh, I'm guessing you're the own, like, you dummy. It's whatever. I'm not aiming you, I'm sorry. <laughs> so. Hmm. Is it the base plate first? It will be the base plate first, or that's what it'll be. I'm, I'm just being silly, aren't I? Idea. Let's give us a second go, shall we? I think that's the way it goes. There's still some screws, aren't there? It's not this way, is it? Or is it? Oh god damn it! That's the backwards bit. That's what it is. I'm being a dafty. There we go. Got to find the right rivets to the screws that I need to put back in then. So there's one. Is it? No, it's not. Crap. I totally forgot how to put it together. Mine blank. Oh god damn it. Stay there you. Think Chris, think. It's not right because it'd have to go in there first, wouldn't it? Logic tells me that because there's mountain posts in that that aren't in that. Or am I tripping? No, nope, I'm not tripping. There's definitely no more post in that. I'll say definitely, and then we'll come back to it in a minute and find out they're all there. They were there all along. So we're looking hard enough. Right, so let's try this. Put you, no, you, and no. Stay, you. God damn it, go. Stay. Right, so it's the memory card bits in first. Well, the USB port, should I say. Right, so let's try this. Try sliding them into place. Has that done it? By Jove, I think he's done it. Haha, <laughs> sussed it ish. What the hell? Oh crap, now the metal thing's on the line. Oh, really badly as well. That's not good. I think that's okay. Yeah, everything seems to be slotting in. Everything's aligning. Phew! Right, so I'm assuming now we can realign this in a second. So these are just cross head screws to go back in with a little screwdriver. I said this would be a quick one. Oh, crap, sorry, I'm not even. There you go. I'm zoomed in. This entire time, so that's where we are, people. <laughs> so for the past four minutes, I think you've probably seen of that. <laughs> oh god, I hope I'm not ruining the video. Um, right, so at the moment, I'm putting the screws back into place to reassemble it. I know if I'm talking to myself or not because if I'm not caught enough of the video, obviously I won't upload it. So. I 
He's hoping that I've done good, eh? <laughs> so the one was putting the smaller of the screws. So by small, I mean the head is slightly tinier on the inside screws than it is on the outside ones. Well, Phillips. I'm only putting the screws in the ones that I've got little gold arrows next to them as well. I'll pull up to the camera in a second to give you a little look. Sis. So if you look, like I said, the, the, the smaller thread of the, the smaller threaded screws are the internal screws, and they only go where well, it's a little gold arrow. They just go to there. So this one here, you don't put anything in that one. So I'm assuming you're going to need that with these posts here to reassemble the actual thing itself. So let's get that in there, so it's out of the way, not going to cause any trouble there, ish. <laughs> There's at the front of the back, so we want to go that way now. Am I showing this right? Yeah, so this is the front of it upside down, this is the back of it upside down. So this is how it goes on, like so. Yep, perfectly aligned. So now, get me a screwdriver, it's slightly bigger. Pull these in because got them there waiting for me when I did a teardown last video. I think that, yeah. I don't know if the ass is like small on the inside, you know, I'm not 100% that that's that right thing because I think they actually have the same thread. If they are, I apologise and I know nothing about threads clearly. It's a Phillips screw though and all that. <laughs> Super brains over here, you know. And so this is me just reassembling it now. Uh, and I, like I said, not going to check it in this video. Obviously, if you want to see a follow-up video or whatever, comment below. I get more than a couple of comments asking for it. I'll do it. Got a video capture thing now as well, so shouldn't be too much trouble. Very right, fun, even you never know. So, uh, one more screw to go. That took a lot of effort, I'm not gonna lie. So do we keep it shut on the other one? Oh, we're just shy at the moment. Come on. Screw, goddammit. Screw like you never screwed before. And we're done. So, flip it over. Ones all seem to work, seems good. And you would never know there's a modification done to it, would you? So on the inside, so what you'd have to do, once you'd hacked it the way you hack it, obviously, <coughs> you probably would still need a powered OTG cable because you have to set it up that way, and then you would put it in via the internal one and fasten it up again. But I'm going to tidy that up. I thought I was going to mount it, but I didn't think there's a massive grounding pad on the board like where I wanted to mount it. So shut I'm masking that off. I don't really know what to do, and it would have took ages. So sod that. We'll do it another time. If, if you're interested, let me know. Obviously. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.